In thinking about what to say to you, I reflected on my own personal journey that has guided me all this way. I really have loved making this American musical journey, but why do I enjoy my life so much? What is it that I've learned? What experiences do I have that might be beneficial to talk about today? I came up with my blueprint for a unique and successful life. Here's some of the lessons I have discovered along the way. Number one, follow your own path. Build bridges. Find heroes. Climb mountains. Stimulate your intellect. Elevate the spirit, yours and others. Share your gifts. They will strengthen your heart. First, I learned at an early age to follow my own path. I was given the gift of music, and I learned then to share it with people. As a child, my musical training ran the gamut, classical, folk, and jazz. This blending of styles and influences is evident throughout my career. What I learned even in those early years is that my music, my musical ideas, the colorful canvas I created with all these various styles was something unique. I was told it wouldn't work. My first classical violin teacher told me my bow grip was wrong and he wouldn't teach me unless I changed it. Yo-Yo Ma tells people that learning my bow grip changed the way he plays music. Follow your own path. There is never just one. My personal artistic journey illustrates that whatever and wherever you want to go in life, you can get there. When I began experimenting with combining all of these musical styles and techniques into a classical setting, I knew there were many problems to solve. Traditional violin styles came from Europe. Even though my music is distinctly American, I was inspired by Celtic and Nordic music with their delightful rhythms and ornamentations, Eastern Europe's Slavic countries for offering alluring and seductive dances, Near and Central Asia where the oriental nuance and the interesting tonal harmonies inspire, and of course Central Europe, the classical tradition we all know. I'm influenced by and appreciate all of these traditions of violin music, and I love them all. My own family history represents deep American roots and influences. One of my ancestors was the first white child born in the state of New York. Her folks came over from Holland four years after the Mayflower landed. Her uncle was one of the handful of people who purchased Manhattan. Before leaving the New York area for the South, another of my great-grandmothers from several generations back was kidnapped by the Mohawk tribe and married the chief. Several of their children were educated in the city. My ancestors were local to these parts around Troy. My great-great-grandfather served in the Tennessee legislature in 1888, and I have a photo of him standing in front of Andrew Jackson's home, the Hermitage. My great-grandparents owned a cotton plantation near Memphis. My grandmother personally told me about her nanny, a former slave. After the Great Depression, my family headed to the Seattle area, where my Uncle John artistically designed the way Boeing airplanes look today, back in the 1950s. The influences of the music I heard the influences of my interesting family history combined to present me with the richest American musical palette imaginable. Why not, I asked, combine all these elements to create music how I hear it, something entirely new? Instead of working to keep styles separate, why not build bridges from one style to another? Maybe by most recognized musical bridge is a piece called Appalachia Waltz. I took all these influences, injected a healthy dose of Americana, and composed it in 1993, sitting in a cabin in the Santa Fe desert, dreaming about Appalachia. I have always been transported by music. 
folk musicians think this piece is classical music. Classical musicians think it's folk music. Appalachian Waltz exists in the middle of a broad and deep musical space infused with disparate influences. If you listen to my music, you'll recognize the bridges. I use musical instruments. I challenge you to find your own tools, whether it's in art or science or business. Use your gifts. Look for ways to build bridges to bring people and ideas together.